Good morning, Patrick Henry. This is a different kind of Friday meeting today. I wanted to just take an opportunity to tell you all that I love you very much, and I'm so proud of you. You all have taken on the challenges of virtual learning, and you have done a magnificent job, and I'm so proud of each and every one of you. As you know, I am retiring. Well, what does that mean exactly? I'm sure most of you know people who are retired, maybe a grandparent or an aunt or uncle, um, or even a family friend. I think this video might help you understand, though, what a kid's view of retirement is. So please let your teacher know what you think retirement is, and she can get that message to me, he or she, and I would love to hear what you think. So now we're going to go to a quick video, and I will be right back after the video. What is what does retirement mean? Retirement is a certain is where you reach a certain age where it's um more difficult for you for you to work. I think it's like um when you didn't work in a long time and you feel like you want to get out. That's what I think. <laughs> you get free money from your past work experience and you just get to do whatever you want. Yeah, it seems fun because you get to go on vacation a lot. You can go places like France and maybe Paris. Um, like rest, um, kind of do chores around the house, or like take a vacation to get as far as away as you want from the kids. All the people that you know you maybe went to work and said, huh, looks like I gotta deal with them again. Retirement is when you think, I've done my part, and you say to your job manager, goodbye, so long, trust, Try to find someone else that's better than me. I think it is that you're so exhausted. You're like, you're really, really exhausted and you're just really tired. When I retire, I'm going to be, I'm going to be 26. You just um, quit your job and you go home, sleep in your PJs and probably never get out of your PJs. Whenever you say, I'm too old for this, <laughs> and then you sit at home and yell at the computer screen. Retirement is when you just don't understand why they don't make the buttons on the remote bigger, you don't understand why all these young whippersnappers drive so fast, and you're just, your back hurts every time you bend over to feed your dog, and you know, you started getting interested in getting more and more cats, and you're just, you said, dang, I'm really sick of all these people at work, and you just wanna, Go travel the world and be by yourself and buy all these clothes for your grandchildren and, you know, just have more fun with your life. Um, you don't have to worry about all the ignorance that you used to work with and you can just go travel the world. You, like, like get some rest in, like, your home. Like, if you want to do what you want to do and you don't want to do work and you want to go, like, somewhere, it's really fun and that's what I really like. Mostly, um, you just lay in bed all day and watch TV pretty much for the rest of your life. <laughs> um, it's when you get too old for your job and you go to a retirement home. You're like probably over the age of 60, maybe even 50. I've never actually seen a retirement home. You're starting a new life again. Like, like you're, you're not a pickle anymore, you're a cucumber. I have no idea. The um, pickle is kind of sour, and when you, when you become a cucumber, you're ready for new experiences. Sometimes you can't do certain stuff because you're too old. <laughs> like some old people don't know how to do handstands because they're so old. They might break a hip or something. Uh, you could sit home and play video games. You could go to the beach. You could skydive. You could do extreme sports. Well, one thing that I would do, I would just keep looking for dragon eggs and eat tacos. I would just eat tacos. Hey, we did the same <laughs> thing. You just have to focus on yourself, but also you have to keep in your right mind and don't go all wild just because you are retiring. So as you can see from the video, retirement really is not all that bad. I did recently get a third cat, who you probably just saw earlier on in this video, 
And I do think that the buttons are too small on the remote control. They really need to do something about that. I am going to travel and do new things now, and I'm so excited about that. Maybe I'll find some dragon eggs. I, sh I will sure keep looking. I'll be sure to look for those. But I promise I will not go wild, as the young lady said in the video. One thing for sure, though, I will eat more tacos. I will miss you all so much, but I feel so much better knowing that you're in the good hands of your teachers and our awesome interim principal, Mr. Thomas Devon. Mr. Devon is a longtime teacher, and he has been at Patrick Henry for five years, and he is just amazing. He knows everything about running Patrick Henry, and he will take good care of everyone. He loves Patrick Henry as much as I do, so if you need anything, don't hesitate to let him know. Mr. Devon will make sure that things are running smoothly in, uh, in the next few weeks of school before we go into our summer break. And I just want to thank Mr. Devon for all of his hard work because he will be doing two jobs, assistant principal and principal job. So thank you for any help that you can give to him and send your good wishes his way. Before I turn it over to Mr. Devon, I would like to thank teachers, staff, and families and students for all of the love you have sent. It really means more to me than you will ever know. I'd like to leave you with just a couple of words. Uh, just remember to be kind. Patrick Henry has a kindness mission. Um, and I want you all to be kind to each other. Um, I've just received this beautiful card from a good friend, and it says, Kindness is always in season. Kindness is always in season. So once again, closing out, uh, I'm turning it over to Mr. Devon at this time, but I want to say thank you all very much, and goodbye, and take care. Hello, students of Patrick Henry. It's Mr. Devon. I must say I'm very excited for Dr. A and her new chapter in life. I think Dr. A is much like the young lady said, a cucumber who was ready for new experiences. Dr. A has been pretty amazing as our principal and leader over the past eight years, and I'm certain she will have lots of new adventures and new experiences outside, exploring nature, maybe bird watching or hiking, which she loves to do both. I know many of you are just like me and will miss Dr. A too. But I wanted to reassure you, I am not going anywhere. I will be filling in for Dr. A as the interim principal. And just like always, if you need to talk to me, my door to my office and my virtual office door is always open for you. I wanted to let you know that although my hair has turned gray, I am not of retirement age. And to let you in on a little secret, I can still do a handstand. So according to the kids in the video, I am not old enough to retire and I will be with you all for quite a while. Tomorrow begins spring break. So please, Please unplug your devices, enjoy the outdoors, and read every day. I will see you all when we return virtually on April the 12th. Enjoy your spring break and read a great book. I will see you all soon.